In Craven County, the town of Newburn was hit hard by Florence. Rebuilding and recovery efforts are underway there. Our Courtney Allen is there with more on the current conditions. Courtney. Ken Shayla, after just one day of surveying the damages, they're estimated to be over $6 million, and they're expecting that number to rapidly increase. There's a press conference today at City Hall where city leaders address those damages and more. City leaders and citizens pack Newburn City Hall first thing Monday morning as the mayor, city manager, and aldermen address the recovery process following Florence. Get the city right back like it was a week ago. The storm damaging or destroying more than 4,300 homes and 300 businesses. We expect that number to increase as evacuees come back into town um, and uh, get their first look at their homes. Storm debris littering the city streets. Debris management, uh, we will have a contractor coming in. Newburn Fire and Rescue, police, and volunteers. Tears safely rescued 800 people. Some of them have been 48 hours without sleep at times. Some streets remain closed due to downed trees and electric lines. All 22,300 customers lost power in New Bern. As of Monday morning, more than 80% was restored. We will continue to work until we achieve 100% restoration. More than 150 utility professionals and 400 city staff working during the storm. Some that don't even have homes to go back to. Several city council members visibly emotional addressing the damages. I think that kind of, uh, that's, that's a hard thing to keep them happening. The spirit and the faith is strong. That's what's made Newburn what it is for 300 years. And it's going to be that way for the next 300. We are Newburn strong. I have no doubt, no doubt that we will come back better than ever. Because when people come to our community, what they remark most about is our people. So it's, it's up to us. And we're going to do it. People from as close as Greenville and Cary and as far as Baltimore and Houston came to the city of New Bern to help. One thing that they're still in need of is volunteer electricians. To donate goods or money, visit our website at WNCT.com. Live in New Bern, Courtney Allen, 9 on your side. Courtney, thank you. Governor Roy Cooper stopping in New Bern today to assess damage from Florence. He went to the EOC Center at the county courthouse and toured the Woodrow area, one of the hardest hit parts of the city. Governor Cooper met with people who lost their homes and heard their stories. He assures the state will help fund recovery efforts and says they are already working with FEMA. We are anticipating uh, quite a bit of temporary housing uh, from hotel rooms to FEMA trailers and we have our FEMA uh, partners who are working with us right now. Governor Cooper says it will be a multi-billion dollar recovery process working with state legislators, members of Congress and other partners.